For the first and only time, we're in a Clash Royale video. Clash Royale is not the most important thing. Instead, your boy changed up his setup. Let me know in the comments what you think. Put a lot of time into this. And if you wonder why I didn't upload yesterday, this was the reason. He goes Mega Knight. That's even better. That's even better. I'm going to go ahead and freeze this right here. Boom. Because we're going to take that out. Look at that. That was perfect. Absolutely perfect. And now it's time to jump into the arena on my mini account where I feel the battles are more relatable for you lower level players with the top three decks I think you can use to help you push from Arena 12 and beyond. Let's get into it. The first deck we are going to go ahead and jump into the arena with is going to be the simple to use, in my opinion, graveyard, you got to play a little patient, but simple to use giant bowler graveyard deck. As I mentioned, you got to be a little patient here with graveyard. If you are too fast with it and you overcommit, you will get punished. We're going to go ahead and go ice spirit at the bridge. Expo. No, I don't like that at all. All right. So what we have to do is go mega minion on this. Hopefully we'll be able to take it out quick enough. See the bowler's going to be able to do some work. He goes bandit. So we'll be okay here. And the bowler's still going to be able to take care of that. I got to go here with this. Boom. Let's go. Woo. Let's go ahead and pull that. All right. Super aggressive. Expo just like that right off is just someone. Again, guys, how I tell you not to play. Crossing their fingers. Hoping I had a bad rotation. That's five elixir he just used. He goes minion horse. I got to go arrows here. I don't even know if my arrows will take. Okay, it does. Whew, that was super close. And he has to go fireball. Again, that's why I don't like minion horde. Five elixir countered by some arrows. And if he does go expo, I'm going to drop the giant. Let's go ahead and do that. Again, still very expensive, right? So here's what's going to happen. The wizard's going to target the giant. I had to spend a lot of elixir here, but we're going to see if we can get enough for a graveyard. I don't know if we can. Oh, it goes freeze. Okay, so this is a super toxic deck. Super toxic, but that expo is going to go down. And now we're just going to go ahead and reset here. No tower damage on our side at all. Got to go here with this, and then we're going to get a bowler down. I got to do it. Okay, he was... All right, this is going to be it, though. He got me there on that. I didn't have a good rotation, but here's what we got. Okay, yep, there. <laughs> You know I have arrows, right? You know I have arrows. I'm not going to go giant. I'm actually going to go ahead and go graveyard now. So he goes in with the prince. I'm going to go high with this as well. He's going to go in with all of that stuff. We're going to go ahead and zap right now. Okay, goes freeze. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now this, guys, is what I always tell you of how not to play, right? You don't want to play this way because this is why he's not going to advance beyond this. My card levels, if you think about it, are way under level. I totally missed the wizard. Now we got to reset here. This is the overcommitment part. And it's by that alone that we could have been punished, right? So we got to go here. We're going to go ahead and freeze that in place. We'll take it down. He could freeze this. Okay, I thought he might. So let's go a little bit high with this. He's not able to get his expo down yet, but he will soon. We're going to go ahead. And, yep, there it is. We're going to go on this. I want it to target the giant. Perfect. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and let this happen. Actually, we're going to get a mega minion down. We're going to go ahead and get this down as well. That's fine. Because that's four elixir, right? That is four elixir. We're going to go ahead and do this. The bowler will be able to get target. Guys, th that's why. Look, he can go fireball, but we're going to have a bowler because that's four elixir now. And he goes bandit. That's fine. He's just using all his elixir. Cross in your fingers. That's not what you want to do. So we're going to go here. Now, I'm sacrificing the giant a lot, but here's what I love about this deck. You have... <laughs> oh my goodness. You have two tanks that you can go ahead and pressure with for the graveyard. And this should be GG's. The Giant's going to get a putt. Yeah, I mean, you got to learn how to play. Stop crossing your fingers. Let's go GG's and peace out. And the next deck is going to be this motorcycle. A lot of people have been requesting it. Typically, the Archer Queen is in this. I found on top ladder, so many people are using Mortar. And also the Ice Spirit. I'm subbing that in over the Fire Spirit since it's higher level. Mortar can be very tricky to play and defend against because people don't realize get closer to it it's going to retarget on the arena tower and that's what you want to kind of do let's go ahead and just cycle the skeletons here we're going to go ahead and log so it looks like we're facing some level of bait i was so nervous when i saw 12 to see if my log would not take it out let's go ahead and go minor he's going to have to answer this and now i'm just trying to get a feel for my opponent at the moment he goes in with that he has the valkyrie I, he goes fireball that's fine because the musketeer will survive we're going to go ahead and get a valkyrie down ourselves and i think i'm going to go ahead and lock in the mortar once that valkyrie goes down let's do it so let's see what he has maybe like some minions he goes in with the cannon all right and he goes in with the dark goblin so we'll let all this stuff happen actually because what's going to happen hopefully the mortar splashes it does not okay so we got to get some skeletons down now on the dark goblin the thing i love about this is it's constant pressure right so he wasn't fast enough with the Valkyrie. He's forced to use that as well. So if he goes Fireball, he is over committing. That is what I tell you guys not to do. Instead, what he should do is let this Valkyrie go and he should reset. See? See what I'm saying? Because we're going to go ahead and distract. He does get the tower damage, but he doesn't have any Elixir. 
So we'll let this go. He has to answer it. He goes in. I'm going to go ahead and poison this. The reason is I need to save my log for his goblin barrel. All right, so let's go ahead and cycle. I don't want to go mortar yet because he has cannon and he's just going to use that to distract. I am going to go minor again, switch up the placement just a little bit. Hopefully he goes Valkyrie on the outside. He does not. Okay, so he's late on it. Let's go ahead and go in with the Musketeer. Once again, if that E-Spirit to me was a waste, if he does Fireball, uh, this is perfect, guys. I'm telling you, okay? We're going to go. That looks pretty deep. Okay, it's not deep. What? All right, my bad. Took out that Goblin Barrel. Not worried about this. I'm actually going to go ahead and go in with the Mortar. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go Miner right here because... Oh, he goes Archers. Perfect. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, is the Mortar going to lock on the Valkyrie or the Cannon? It locks onto the Valkyrie. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go in with this here. We'll slow it down. We're going to go ahead and get this down as well. Boom. Let's get this down. He is being super aggressive right now. We're going to go minor in the back. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and poison this right now. That is the part that I'm talking about. If you are too close to the mortar, it will target the arena tower. And we get, I think, two shots off. Let's go. Perfect. And sometimes with this deck, you just got to spell cycle. So we're going to go ahead and get a log down right now. Boom. We'll take that out. I probably will go ahead and just go defensive mortar. Let's do that because I'm not going to lock on, right? And he's going to have that Dark Goblin doing some work. We're going to go here with it. It's going to be distracted. I'm going to go in the back with the Miner. Let's see where he puts that Valkyrie. goes Archers. I'm going to go ahead and Poison. We're going to clip that Valkyrie as well. We're going to go in with the Log. He goes in there with that. Okay, so he did switch it up. He switched it up, all right? But we're going to take that out enough. We're going to go ahead and hopefully be able to target. Okay, that's perfect too. Okay, I, okay, that was good. That was good. He was able to drop that Cannon down in time. So that works. So we're going to get a lot of value here from this Poison. Get this down as well. Let's go ahead and go in with this and this. Goes in with that. We're going to go back here. He's getting tricky with those barrels. He's getting tricky. That's perfect for us. We're going to go ahead and poison once again. And I think that's going to be a GG's, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just go here and here. Make sure he cannot beat me with the Goblin Barrel. Let's go and peace out. And now we're going to go ahead and round it out with one of the most popular decks inside of the game for a long time. Highly requested as well. Simple to play. Just don't overcommit. Freeze is pretty expensive with this Bowler Lumberjack Balloon Freeze deck. It is easy to get some dubs with this, I'm telling you, if you play it right. Let's go ahead and roll the Inferno Dragon in the back. See if we can bait something out here. All right, goes Mini P.E.K.K.A. So I'm probably going to go ahead and go Lumberjack here. We'll be able to take out that Mini P.E.K.K.A. enough. He goes in with an E-Wizard. All right, so we take out the E-Wizard at least. And we have a Lumberjack. I think I'm going to go in because so many things are tanking for... He goes Mega Knight. That's even better. That's even better. I'm going to go ahead and freeze this right here. Boom. Because we're going to take that out. Look at that. That was perfect. Absolutely perfect. And he has to drop a nice wizard. I don't think he's going to be able to stop that balloon. That's probably going to be tower. Let's go. And that's what happens when you play Mega Knight. I'm telling you, seven elixir like that is super expensive. And then he's going to get desperate. That's exactly how you beat these people, ladies and gentlemen. The mini P.E.K.K.A. will go down. Not worried about it. Seriously. Huh. You serious? Here's what we're going to do. Let's just go ahead and distract that mini P.E.K.K.A. enough. We'll get this down as well. We should be good to go. All right, so he goes in super aggressive with that. The Lumberjack should be able to take out that E-Wizard, but once again, right, just crossing your fingers and kind of just hoping and spamming. That's what I keep telling you guys is no longer going to work. Once you cross probably Spooky Town because that's such a sticking point for people, you can't play that way anymore. You actually have... See? You see what I'm saying? Look, that's all he's doing right now. So here's what he's not going to be able to do. He's not going to be able to get the E-Wizard. He's still just spamming all over the place. And we got a baby dragon there on that side, but look what he's doing. Let's just go ahead and get this down. It's not going to work, because here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and go in with the balloon this side. He's probably given up. He hasn't given up yet. All right, so here's what we're going to do. He has to go in with that. Perfect for us, all right? So we're going to go in with the bowler this side, and we're going to go... Never mind. I wasn't even paying attention. I was going to say bowler this side and something else on that side. It doesn't even matter. We got the dub. Let's go GG's. Here are the decks one more time. Giant Bowler Graveyard, Miner, Motor Cycle, and we rounded it out with Lumber Loon Freeze with the Bowler. One of the most popular decks for quite some time now, guys. Thank you again for all the continued support to the next video. Take care. Peace out.